Hello, I'm Entrylist and welcome back, of course, to Hunts of Iron 4 as Communist China. So, uh, I'm just going to create a variant of our artillery tank here. Because if the war is going to be going on any longer, we probably should at least get some better equipment. Also, modern tank destroyer. Might as well upgrade that. And we want the engine to get you up to 11.2, which I think is the speed of our main battle tank right now. And then maybe get the tank armament. Because it's all about armor on this, right? It's an anti-tank thing. It needs to be able to kill tanks, so. Uh, what speed are you now? That's acceptable speed, but if we want to get it up to here... Yeah, that'd work. The reliability's a little bit low. I can't afford to buff that. That's okay for now, I guess. Although, we aren't really making any mechanized. It might be a good idea for us to move around some factories. We've got a lot of close air support, so I'm willing to tone that down a little bit. Uh, naval bombers... Probably will still need that many. Jet fighters. Maybe need that a little bit less. I don't even need those jet fighters down here anymore. What else can we get rid of? Uh, infantry equipment we've actually got quite a lot of. This is just we need to reinforce with that. We'll lower the motorized. Maybe we'll load the jet fires a little bit more. Maybe we'll load the cable okay, ones a little bit. Carrier fighters, I think we'll lower to like five. Mm, yeah, that'll do. Making some mechanized. It's it's a start. Right. So, uh, after asking people what they thought about whether we should continue or not, people seem to be adamant that because of the because of Soviet Union, Soviet Union is so so gone out of their way to be very unhelpful with us. In fact, they pretty much crippled our war effort and probably delayed the war by a good four years, extended the war by a good four years minimum. People really want us to destroy the Soviet Union. We can't do that till we finish our current war because they're currently with us in a war, which means that we need to finish the war to be able to attack them. And to attack uh, Mexico, it's easiest to go through the United States. I mean, we could attack Mexico right now. Uh, that's something we could do. We need to attack Mexico. We need to attack Australia and I think Brazil. Let's double check that. Uh, Ireland. Ooh, Ireland. Okay. So let's check. Ireland. Australia. Brazil. Mexico. And United States would bring in the Philippines, but not much else. And at the end of the day, we might as well take on the US as well. Because we can go through them to get to Mexico. Yeah, there'll be a tough fight, but they shouldn't be anything impossible for us to defeat. So we're going to stand. And have I not given you orders to cover this front line? Oh, I was going to do that between episodes. Well, I guess I will have to do that. Uh, right now, which means that I'm going to very quickly cut away and then cut back. I wish I knew how many people were in Alaska. That would be helpful. Mm. Oh, well. Back in a sec. Okay, so I've advanced time a little bit. We have our front line set up. So we've got one army group over here, a few armies around here, army group here, army group here, and army group here, and one army up near Alaska, although they're still on their way because apparently it takes a long time to get to Alaska. I've also sent all of our Marines over to do invasions of Australia. Uh, I will actually want to grab you and get you to convoy us this section. Yeah. There we go. Just so that the Marines can get around that. And two of our other Marine groups are over here, ready to invade Ireland. So all the Marines are set to do that. That should get rid of two of the pesky ones over there. I don't think we need to worry about the Philippines. They're going to be annoying, but I don't think they're going to be something we actually have to invade or anything like that. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, that sucks. Yep, that appears to be uh, large amounts of my Marines getting murdered en route. That's quite a large force. Japan has. Hmm. Oh, well. I did send the Marines just to go down there. I didn't give them a fancy order to avoid going certain places. 
Uh, right, I've also gone through and very, very slowly applied air wings to everyone. Not that we have enough airports up here to get our air wings in. I believe a lot of them are sitting over here for some reason. Yeah, like a lot of these are sitting over here because I just can't fit up there. And same for a lot of fighters. Uh, I've told them to build like a load more stuff, but I don't think we're going to have enough airports anyway. So we'll do what we can. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, that's pretty it. That's pretty much it. We're good. We're good. So uh, I would like to also make an adjustment because right now we have quite a lot of, yeah, 35,000 mechanized, 8,000 modern tank, 5,000 each of the artillery and tank destroyer. Well, a little bit less. Uh, so we can actually make uh, you fancier. So we'll switch you to mechanized. Switch you to mechanized. Get ourselves a modern SP artillery. There we go. Modern tank destroyer. Maybe another modern SP artillery? Then a modern tank destroyer? Modern tank destroyer. Where's modern tank? There we go. Weird places on the list. That's 15, 14 width. So we will get mm, mechanized. Mechanized. I keep changing where they are on the list. It's very confusing. Mechanized. Right. What does this require? Too expensive. Ugh. Oh, wow. Well, that sucks. I guess we can make a slight change for now, which is just to change you up to mechanized. We can afford that. I spent all the upgrading. God damn it. Right. At least that'll help a little bit. I've got all of them training right now, just that they're all up to speed. And one thing I did do was because deploying these air wings was incredibly frustrating because as we've, we've gone through it many, many times, but to deploy an air wing... I have to go through a ridiculously long list. So what I've done is I've installed the Better Air Wing mod. The Better Air Wing mod basically makes the window twice as high and gives you two columns. So instead of having to go do -do 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 through one very small, very thin window, I now get to see four times the amount of planes. It's still, look at this. So frustrating to find the planes you want. Because for instance, I want a jet fighter. Uh, the jet fighter is there. Everything else here is trash. That's that's all trash. Still trash. There we go. That's all the jet fighters. And it's really frustrating. I just want them to fix that. But for now, that air wing mod helped me a lot because going through these took me about 10 minutes just because I had to create, you know, 15, 20 air wings of fighters in the same of close air support. I recommend that mod. I really would. It looks like the Americans won't be able to hold up to us. It looks like they've got less on the front line than before. Either way, I believe we have plans to attack them. Where's our justification? Are we running the 6th of June? Very well. Uh, did we lose? Oh, God, we lost so many of our Marines. We lost two entire armies and almost a third. Well, you know what? That doesn't really matter too much to us because we have the capability to build them again. So I'm going to recruit. Uh, oh, we can do power troops. Uh, I'm going to recruit Marines. Marines, Marines, Marines. Train. And we will shift click to add. Uh, it's going to be about, what? 1, 2, 20, so 22, uh, plus 48, so uh, 70. And we'll set the location as there. Would you mind not attacking my units? Thank you. Yeah, so we've got three units attacking Australia. That's going to go great. I think for now, we'll start the invasions here. Insufficient naval supremacy. Okay. We can solve that. Do we have uh, 
Anyone can give us no superiority? Do you have any orders? You do not have any orders. Right. Convoy S. Uh, cancel. No, you're actually repairing. Sorry. What about you? There we go. There we go. Guard that. In fact, if we're going to be coming out of the uh, Mediterranean, probably want the Iberian coast to be defended. Ah, oh, that Japanese navy, you still can't get rid of them. How long will it take us to train up these guys? So Australia's going to die sometime after August. Okay. Are you going to go back out to anywhere particular? Or are you just going to hang around there? Because you don't seem to have any place to go. Hmm. We'll leave them there for a moment see if they actually do something. Oh, we've got overlap there. We shouldn't do. Uh, edit. Why are you... Oh, no, you're... covering the same one in the same army group. That's weird. Oh, that's an entire army. That's an entire army covering that. What? I don't... Hmm. That's curious. Ah, uh, again, we're having the issue where I can't... I can't move that. Oh, well. Uh, no, I don't want your stupid units. I also don't want to give you military access. No, I'm about to attack you. Alright, how's that training going? Yeah, you still need it. How's the infrastructure building going? Working on getting ourselves some more air bases slowly. Oh, hello. There's some space there. You're also getting some infrastructure put in. I'll probably get them to build infrastructure everywhere else as well. But, like, uh, towards the end of the list. This is less important. Uh, we've got. Bases for supplies, radar, some anti-air guns. That's all good. Alright, when will they be done? Twenty of April, four more. Yeah, you should be done around about invasion day. Oh. Okay, what was that? Oh, the invasion died. Hello! Uh, huh. Okay. Seven of them who couldn't make the attack there have moved. What we'll do is we'll give you a frontline. Oh, you've got a frontline. Uh, attack order. And then just go wild. Follow that to your heart's content. I shouldn't need to micromanage that too much. Although, it's strange that they all jumped in one location rather than splitting up, but for fine, you know. I'm not going to worry too much. Okay, fine. I'm going to take control of Unitech Dublin because I like to support my troops there. Also, it prevents them from splitting up and becoming a bit of a form in my side. There we go. 
and then get you to join the front line. Right, that should take care of that. Meanwhile... How are we doing over here? Yeah, you're almost trained up to trained on everyone. Well, to regular on everyone, you are trained at the moment. What about you? Eh, not as good. You are... Perfect. Oh, almost perfect. Okay. You need work. You needs work. You needs work. Island capitulated! Wow, that's a lot of guns. Thank you. Uh, I guess I want to send you over... ...to help attack Australia, but to do that, it's gonna be messy. Uh, ugh. I'm obviously not gonna get you to go through the sea, because you'll just... Get yourselves absolutely murdered. So instead, I'm going to tell you to... Oh, right. That doesn't work. I need to actually tell you to go to a place and then go to there. Like some sort of weird bug. Whoa! What? Did you just nuke Island? What did you think that would achieve? That's weird. What? Did you just, you just nuke Cork? That's not even an important place. Sorry, people who live in Cork, but... Overall, it's not you to Dublin. No, you nuked Cork. I had like what one marine there. It's a bit of an odd choice. It's just a bit strange. But you know, whatever. See if we care. Oh, we're low on chromium. Really. We're low on chromium. That's a refreshing break. Fuck helmet. I guess we can solve that by putting infrastructure in chromium places. Or have we done that already? Oh, we've done it a little bit. There's any more chromium for us to really grab. Okay, uh, nuking Cyprus. Sure. Again, not sure that there's going to be a big payoff for that, but congratulations. I'm sure that was a very important thing for you. And oh, I guess I'll grab the one with tungsten there. Oh! 62 chromium, that will be important. I'm going to actually up that to the top of the list. Okay, June's coming up. Which means that we're going to have to stop the training. Come what may. Come what may. Ah, that's good enough. You need to be trained in your battle plans. There we go. Now I need you to relocate uh, down to here, probably. Okay, come on, let me... Thank you. Good. You're just going to relocate by foot. It's a really long journey, but you can't be trusted to go over the ocean. Can I get some stats on, like, how prepared you are for this attack? Mm, pretty good. The enemy is fortified, which doesn't help. Uh, I think I've 
got some strategic bombs coming over here. Yeah, I do. What we'll probably do is get some strategic bombers over here as well so that we can just bomb the crap out of this front line with uh, nukes if we need to do it. I'm not sure we will need to. But better safe than sorry. So let's find our uh, jet bombers. Oh, God. That's probably them. We'll get to bomb the west coast. I think we've got New England covered, which leaves Midwest and Central US and Rocky Mountains. Although Rocky Mountains is a pretty small province, at least at the top here. Finding what I want is annoying. I should have memorized where the position was. Okay, so roughly like three and a half tiles up. So somewhere about here. Okay. Ooh, I think I also gave a more ground cruise boost to a province somewhere. I swear I gave a more ground crew boost somewhere. Oh, uh. Get rid of that. If I did that, then I'm using up. Useful. Where is it? I swear I had a location where I'd done the more ground crew boost, but you you can turn it off. Um, maybe it was in southern England or somewhere, and I've turned it off already. But I'm going to turn on boosts over there and there, just because those are, of course, the coastal provinces, and so have the most stuff we want to nick. I mean, East Coast is the one we want, but that has to pretty much, you have to go through New England to get there, so that seems to be a good start for me. All right. I'm going to tell you to just be super aggressive, because we do outnumber them. So effectively throwing yourself at the brick wall is going to be the way forwards. Uh, Alaska, don't do that, because you don't actually have any backup. You're going to take your time, okay. Right, there we go. Declare war. We won't call on our allies. Let's take this. Right. Go. 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 Actually, I can give you a general as well. New commander hype. Ah, what did I do? Crap, did I just give you over to... Yeah, I did. Uh, right. Well, we'll have to deal with that. Whoops. Okay, they're caught into the war. Oh, that's even easier than I thought it would be. That works. Ah, and we lost uh, some dude who we got from the Americans in the first place a long time ago. Channel, whatever his name is. Yeah, that happens. How about you? What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to get half of you to attack him instead. They have air control, though. That's because we're not in our territory. What's that going on in here? Oh, the lake is controlled by Canada. Okay. Uh, that's interesting. 
Also weird, considering Canada doesn't touch any of those provinces, but sure. How did this happen? Not pleased with that. Uh, okay, also you've got pulled off the line. Whoa, what happened there? Uh, oh god. Um, right, that... I have no idea what happened there. God, you all got added to the other group. Okay. Let's put you back in a group again. Assign Mao to you. Oh. What the hell? And then frontline you. Which puts the frontline through there for some reason. Let's not do that. Front line you like that. And again, offensive line. Uh, something like that. Right. Do we have nukes? We do not have nukes. Okay, this is uh, an unprecedented mess. Let's give you a frontline order. And give you a attack order as well. Uh, there we go. That seems like a good attack order. And I'll have to change the color of your army group. There we go. It's really helpful that they're all reorienting again. Oh, did we get pushed back? Which one of you... Wait, why weren't you over here? <sighs> one of my armies wasn't over here and guarding this point. I told them to, but they weren't. You can see they've got a front line here, but they, they didn't move? <sighs> oh, God. Right. I like how the front is flickering. That really helps my decision making here. Okay. Oh, wow. Hello, uh, American Navy. That's... You're coming out in force there. Should have thought that was going to be the case. Uh, may have forgot that would be the case. Whoops.
Do I have enough air control to drop nukes now? I do. Hello! Please feel free to take a nuke. You may have one. Can I drop them on some of the major cities? I cannot. Because we are not in East Coast yet. Okay. Okay, don't leave pockets like that behind. It's annoying and untidy. Okay, currently going okay. We're pushing in. Having some resistance issues. You're getting murdered en route by enemy... Or is it... Oh, hello. Did you... Ah, they must have done enough damage to my fleet that they left. Yeah, we're kind of cut off now over here. Which is fine. Oh. Are you nearly... Nearly ready to go down. Okay. Now, because we outnumber them, I'm okay with us doing this ridiculous front line thing. Because it's going to ultimately result in us being able to defend the front line and then being too stretched. Oh, really? Are you putting 11 units in that one position? That is not good for you. There you go. Is this the place you're going? When do you get there? A few hours. Oh, that's a shame. Enjoy. I'll drop another nuke on them as well. I've got enough nukes. I do have a nuke there as well. And a nuke here. And a nuke here. And a nuke here. And a nuke here. And a... Ah, oh, I can't nuke that. What can I nuke? Mm, okay, fine. I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to enable that. So I get a bit of bonus here. New York is really holding out. I would very much like to nuke New York. I can! Take that! There we go. Overrun. Uh, and we've pushed out some of our units. Okay. Uh, how do I get them back? There we go. Give me these orders. Is anyone guarding Detroit yet? And that front line is probably covered. Is it? Is it? No, it's not covered. It's, uh, they've backed away. Okay, I'm going to actually delete your front line. And I'm going to tell you to deal with this. And then give you an order for an offensive line. Because that other unit's been too hammered to really do this job properly. Do 
do that. And then over here, I'm going to have to fix this gap we've created. Alright. Still don't have control on the... Ooh, we do have control over here. Is there anything I want to nuke over here? Ah, <gasps> there is. Los Angeles! San Francisco! Sorry, Los Angeles. Sorry, San Francisco. San Francisco. Wait, is this just called California? Okay. Anything else we need? Nuke? More. Uh, and I think that's it. We're going to need to control the skies. I need to be able to take out the bunkers of nukes. That would very much help. Apparently I'm making very little ground because of that. Damn, yeah, they have a lot of uh, air power going on over there. Let's so here. I think what will happen is where we've got air power, we'll be able to swing around, get into Mexico. But this will stay a problem. I don't know how tough they're going to be to break. Normally, the US are pretty damn tanky. Mm, yeah, good chunk already. 37% towards capitulation. And they haven't brought anyone into the war that we have to go kick out. So, overall, pretty decent. Plus, they'll give us a whole load of resources. And again, fighting more stuff in the war, we will... Oh, hello! Oi, that's not allowed. I don't actually have any... Res I should probably have some reserves for some situations like this. Um, you. Half of you. Yeah, get your asses down here. Uh-oh. Either way, I think this is a good place to end the episode. So if you've enjoyed, like, you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. But until next time, I've been Enter Elysium. The United States is slowly being crushed. However, the main section we are worried about, the East Coast, is holding out. We'll need to put some more effort into that. Until next time, stay shiny.